Welcome to another Amico lesson plan. In the animal kingdom, there are different classes of creatures, birds, fish, reptiles, and more. Amphibians are similar to both fish and reptiles and are able to live between water and land. To teach your students more about these fascinating animals, have them research more about where they live and how they have to protect themselves from predators. Your students should sketch their favorite amphibian and color its skin to match its defense mechanism. Does their salamander blend into the muddy water where it lives? Is their frog poisonous and boasts bright warning colors? When the creatures are finished and have been best, your students can glaze them with the bright, fun crystal text glazes that match their drawings. Once the sketches are complete, each student should be given a canvas board, a wooden tool, a sponge, and some water. Have them roll out two balls of clay, making sure that the clay is properly wedged first. Each ball should be made into a small, deep bowl, each becoming half of the animal's hollow body. They should do this by pinching it out from the center. To join the two halves of the body, they should be scored along the edges and pressed together. Show them how to blend the two sides back and forth with a wooden tool, reducing the likelihood of cracking. An extra coil should be added to fill in the seam and strengthen the bond of the two sections. Your students may lightly shape the body by molding it with their hands before adding any details. Adding details to these creatures is as easy as rolling out coils and scoring and slipping to add legs, arms, eyes, and more. Encourage your students to be creative and to look at their sketches for anatomical features. This is also a good time to talk more about the body parts and features of the amphibians your students chose. Certain frogs have webbed feet, while newts and salamanders have frills on their heads sometimes. Have your students discuss these features along with the animal's skin patterns to determine more about how the amphibians live and survive. For example, did you know amphibian skin absorbs water to take in more oxygen for their body? This is why their skin is so soft and it gets slimy on land to keep the creature moist. This soft skin is vulnerable to predators though, so defense is very important. Once your students are satisfied and finished adding details to their amphibians, encourage them to cut a hole in the bottom of their creature. The air trapped inside the hollow body would cause their piece to explode in the kiln during firing. Allow these creatures to dry completely before the bisque firing as well. Once the bisque fire is complete, return the amphibians to your students for glazing. The Crystal Text glaze line will give bright, lively colors to the amphibians, and the crystal bursts will fascinate your students once their pieces come back from the kiln. Be sure to have them refer to their notes to select the proper colors for their creatures. The crystals in the glaze can be moved and purposefully arranged with the tip of a brush, too. We hope your students enjoyed using this project to learn about amphibians, and will be happy to have an amphibian of their own to take home with them. Thank you so much for choosing Amico's lesson plans.